Okay, the current in a coil of self-inductance 0.3 millihenry changes at the rate of 60 ampere per second. Find the EMF induced in the coil. Okay, so basically, uh, this one is about self-inductance. Yeah, it's, as you can see here, about self-induction. Okay, so we have the formula, uh, you know, we have the value uh, L. Okay, and then this one, 60 ampere per second, if you look at this uh, unit, look at this unit, is ampere per second, so it's a uh, current over time. Okay, current over time. So this is the di over dt. Okay, uh, di over dt, uh, because it say current changes at the rate. Yeah, current is uh, car i and rate is uh, uh, per, yeah? it's about time, isn't it? Uh, so uh, di over dt lah, is 60 ampere per second. Okay, uh, rate of change of current. So find the EMF induced. So I want the EMF induced. Um, EMF induced. Okay. Uh, so uh, EMF induced by the self induction process. Okay. So uh, self induction. Uh, these are the formulas that you can uh, remember. Okay. Uh, and anyways, in the previous example, I already uh, list out in, uh, important in uh, important units for the self-induction yeah maybe i should just carry forward here uh okay wait wait a second yeah uh yep okay yeah uh, hold on a second okay so uh find your emf induced so these are the formula e equal uh, self-induction e equal to negative n d phi over dt e equal to negative l d i over dt n phi equal to l i and then uh, l equal to mu naught n square a over l so what what uh, equations is more suitable so we have the l d i d t we want to find induced emf so we use the second one yeah e equal to negative l d i o d t okay so uh so e induce okay let me use that formula Okay, E induced equal to negative L di over dt. Okay, so L is um zero point three milli Henry. Yeah, zero point three milli Henry. Milli is uh, you need to change to uh, SI unit. SI unit. So milli is negative three. Yeah, uh, and then uh, change to Henry already. So form the unit. And then the IODT uh, is 60 ampere per second per unit. So okay, let's calculate. Now let's calculate. Okay, so let me calculate 0.3 exponent negative 3 multiply 6 uh, multiply 60. So the answer is um, 0 0.018 uh, negative negative 0 0.018 volt. All right. Uh, so the answer 18 millivolt yeah is at, uh, negative actually negative is the direction uh, is the direction so uh, it's, it's actually better if you put a negative sign yeah it's better you put a negative sign because the equation has a negative uh, yeah if the equation has a negative sign you should maintain the negative sign yeah don't throw it away yeah sometimes they deduct mark they deduct mark uh, if you simply throw away the negative sign okay since the equation has a negative sign so we shouldn't uh, just throw away the negative sign like that yeah so better is maintain the negative because a negative actually means uh, back emf yeah uh, is about uh, about the direction uh, opposed changes okay so uh, that's the answer so 0 0.018 so it's a uh, 18 millivolt yeah so if this one divide by thousand you get 0 0.018 okay so this is correct okay so that's the formula okay hope you understand yeah okay thank you bye